What is up guys, it's Jimbo here and welcome back to another quick Starfield video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how you can get your hands on a samurai sword. In this instance, the Wakisashi or a Katana, whatever you want to call it. It's got some really cool perks on it uh, in this specific variant. There is another way of being able to get hold of it via a, a quest line that you can do. Uh, and you can probably just find them around the world. But... I will say this is the best way to get it consistently. There are three core requirements that you're going to need to be able to get access to this area. You're going to need to have stealth, so you can have the ability to be undetected while hidden. You're also going to need to have pickpocketing, so you can pickpocket anybody in the game when you are crouched. And you're also going to need to make sure you have chameleon. Fortunately enough, the mantis armor has that embedded into it, but also you can find it on other pieces around the world. So head to the Vaulty system and find Neon. From Neon, you're going to head out of the spaceport, then go to the left and head down into the ebb side area of Neon. You can walk forward and you'll see the uh, Madame Sauvage. I can't remember what the name of the, the club is. And you're going to go straight past that and take a left and follow it all the way down until you see Frankie's goods. Now, there is a way to persuade her to be able to give you access to what you need, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be going up behind her. Crouch, wait until you're hidden, pickpocket, and you should have roughly a 70% chance to pickpocket. Just make sure you quick save before you do that. Once you've done that, you're going to be able to get access to the Syndicate card, which is going to allow you to go into the Syndicate's hideout. Go through the door behind you, head into the Syndicate's hideout, and then you're going to make your way into the big open room where there's a big yellow case on the counter. This is going to contain the Syndicate Enforcer. In order to get your hands on this, you need to make sure that anyone around the area isn't looking at you. Also make sure that you have the hidden tag for stealth, because otherwise you're not going to be able to steal this and stay hidden. And then you're going to be able to steal it when you are hidden, and then you'll walk out with a brand new katana. There is other ways to get this in the game. Some of the vendors have them in their inventory. You can also do a quest line in Neon as well to do with Briggs. And you can go through all of that, uh, going through a bunch of the different uh, crime gang specific stuff. But if you specifically want a you know, rare legendary version of this, then this is going to be the best way to do it. If we have a brief look at the weapon, it has the two perks berserker it does more damage the less armor one has now i don't know whether this is tied to you i.e if you're not wearing any armor i don't know how this would work especially in space if you have a spacesuit on whether that uh, applies to the armor but there's also lacerate lacerate randomly applies a bleed effect to the target whenever you hit them in the footage uh, you will get to see me using it. You can use this very much for stealth, which I'm going to be using it for. But you can also use it when you can set things on fire because of the uh, specific perks that you can get in the game and able to do that. Would recommend that you use this with dueling because it gives you an increase to your melee damage. And then also if you want to make sure that you're doing a stupid amount of damage with sneak, get your uh, sneak or stealth all the way up and then also get yourself um, the last perk, the legendary perk, which is concealment which will give you a massive times boost for your uh, sneak attack damage. And you're basically just going to be able to do this sniper, stealthy assassin. And yeah, you're going to be able to have a lot of fun with this. But there you go, guys. Quick guide on how to get yourselves a really cool rare katana. Wanted to put this out uh, as an extra upload today. Make sure that you go and do it. Tell me if you're going to be doing any cool shenanigans with samurai swords in Starfield. Let me know down in the comment section. Like the video if it's been informative and helpful. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on the notification bell for more Starfield content and much more. And as always, this has been It's Jimbo, and I'll see you guys next time.